Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up PostgreSQL streaming replication on Ubuntu server. I have two servers. One is Postmaster. See the name of the server. This is the my master server. And second one is Slave. Host name. I have named PG Master and PG Slave. Let's verify the IP of both the servers. See, IP is 192.168.152.143 and for master 192.168.152 and 142. Clear screen. First we have to configure IP addresses to allow the connections from clients by modifying postgresql.conf file. It's there in cd etc postgresql 12 main see i have postgresql.conf file before modifying it is always best practice to take the backup cp i got the permission error sudo Now run the same query. What this command will do? It will keep backup of this postgresql.conf file. Clear screen. VI postgresql.conf. Then search for listen addresses. See, by default, it has commented out. Hash means it's commented. Remove it. And here, replace localhost with star. Star means connections from all the clients. And save the file. Now we have to create replication user on master server. Connect to master postgresql. Create user. Give the name for the user replicator with replication encrypted password then provide the password for the this replication user and press enter we have successfully created user let's verify see see user replicator created with the replication permission. Press Q to quit. Now exit from PostgreSQL. Again exit. Now we have to add the standby server or slave server IP in pg underscore hba dot con file. VA pg underscore hba dot con. My slave server IP is 192.168.152.143 Scroll down on the master Scroll down to at the end Then provide first and type is replication Here username is replicator that we have created now Here we have to provide the IP of slave or postgresql IP of slave or standby server then authentication type here I am giving authentication type as md5 then save the file escape colon wq exclamation and press enter one more time I will show you what I have added see I have added this slide which means it will allow the connections from this IP with the used replicator. Now we have to restart the PostgreSQL service to affect the configuration settings. sudo systemctl restart postgreSQL. Let's verify restart is success or not. systemctl status postgresql see we have successfully 
रिस्टार्टेड फोर्टीन सेकेंड से गो ओके क्लियर स्क्रीन नाउ वी हैव टू सेटअप स्लेव आर स्टैंड बाई सर्वर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू स्टॉप दी फर्स्ट सिक्वल सर्वर इफ इट इज रनिंग लेट्स वेरीफाई See, PostgreSQL server is active and running. Clear screen. Switch to root user. Now switch to Postgres user. Then we are going to copy the main directory. Or in or in Red Hat Linux or CentOS or Fedora, we call it as data directory. Now we are going to copy. the main directory which is data directory to another directory for safety cp hyphen r economic recursive where like lib process equal equal main to main give any name main underscore old we have successfully taken the backup of the main directory or data directory to main underscore old directory now remove the files and folders of this main directory i am performing all these steps in slave only remove hyphen r and provide the main or data directory we have successfully removed the main or data directory now we have to run the pg underscore base backup on slave server pg underscore base backup then we have to provide hyphen h hyphen h means host name then provide the host ip of master server 192.168.82.142 let's verify yes once see my master server ip is One ninety two, one sixty eight, one fifty two, one forty two. Same, okay. Then hyphen D. Then provide the directory name. Then hyphen U. Here we have to provide the replication user which we have created now. That is replica from hyphen P. Hyphen V, Hyphen R, Hyphen X, Stream, Hyphen C, Hyphen S. Then provide the slot name. Slot name can be anything. I am giving say slot one. You can give anything. Now I explain. See here, here Hyphen P means it provides progress report. Hyphen V means Or boss mode hyphen R means recovery configuration hyphen C hyphen C enables replication slot creation hyphen S means slot name then here hyphen U means user name then press enter here hyphen V is small one see there is error errors are always good let's go to master and verify the replica name. First we pay the role name in first is equal slash du. Here role name is replicator. More etc. First is equal or main pg underscore hba dot com. See. Username is replicator, so we have to change the username as replicator. Then press enter. Let's clear the screen. See, I will keep all these commands in the video description. Don't worry about the commands. Then provide the password for the replicator, which we have set on master server. See, it is copying all the files. Base backup has been completed successfully. Now verify data main directory 
successfully copied from master cd early postgres equal 12 main ls see it has created standby dot signal file which means replication has been started let's verify replication is success or not now we have to start postgres sql server on slave server system ctl exit system ctl start postgres sql now switch to postgres user psql let's verify the list of the database select name from pg underscore pg underscore database column name is dat name see it has copied all the databases from the master standby or slave server is always in read only mode let's try to create a database in standby create database slave one See, cannot execute create database in read only transaction, which means this is the standby server. Also, connect to Postgres. Now, create a database in master. Create database stream. We have successfully created. Now, let's verify. Here, we don't have the database name with stream. Now run the same query to verify. Select that name from pg underscore database. See, new database has been reflected successfully. Also in master server, you can verify the replication slot name by using the select star from pg underscore replication underscore slots. See, we have given the slot name as slave slot one. In the query here, in this query, we have given the slot name as slave slot1. Press Q to fit. Now we can verify the replication is happening or not by using the command which select star from pg underscore start underscore wall underscore receiver on slave server. This is not clear. We have to set the expanded mode. Now run the query pg underscore start underscore wall receiver. See its status is streaming. Now verify the replication is synchronous or asynchronous. First we have to set the expanded mode, clear screen, then run the command, select star from pg underscore start underscore replication. See state is streaming and sync state is async. Async means asynchronous replication. So in this video we have seen how to set up PostgreSQL streaming replication on Ubuntu servers. For more PostgreSQL videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.